My name is Clark Whittington. I do something called the Artimat. Uh, basically, I founded a collective based on a conceptual idea that I had back in 97 uh, to take banned cigarette machines and turn them into functional art installations. The original Artimat was based on a friend of mine who had a Pavlovian reaction to snack wrappers and would go to the vending machine on hearing the crinkle of the package opening. Or soon after I experienced the concept, cigarette machines were being banned by the federal government so kids couldn't buy cigarettes. And I got my hands on one and sold my art out of it for a dollar a piece. Initially, I just thought the Artimat would would be a one month part of a 13 piece exhibit in a coffee shop. But I noticed, and it was my first exhibit in Winston-Salem when I moved there. So I was new to town. So I was a stranger, I didn't know anyone. People were interested in the swords and the plowshares aspect of what we were, what that piece was doing. So when the, um, the month was over, the coffee shop owner said, you can't take this, we love it. So said, well, I can't keep it filled, let's invite artists to be involved. So that was the first step where people just kind of like the idea, hey, this is fun and the size is cool and they, being from Winston-Salem, it was a very familiar shape. Um, but I've, I've seen a lot of really wonderful things and some things that are pretty rough. And it's just, I think that's the aspect of pushing the envelope with art in our culture. You, you strike a chord with some and other people connect with. I actually thought, I don't wanna work with artists anymore because we would invite artists to show in this gallery and some of them were, they were talking about money more than the art, which bored me. And it, I didn't think it was, the work was that great because they're thinking about selling something versus just making something good. So with Artemat, I kind of, set the rules early on so that here it is it's, you know, it's five bucks you get 50 percent uh, our studio gets a dollar host gets a dollar fifty and i just it's been that way since 1999 since we we're in the whitney museum and um, now we have 200 machines around the country and a few other countries and it's just people like it when Someone who may have not been experienced to art before gets to see it without feeling like they're being snobbed, snobbed or anything. Then they respond positively and they really need it, they want it. So the whole premise of Artimat is based on making things accessible for people of all walks. And, uh, and I think we, we see that all the time now. And, and then, that makes me happy.